Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can build a notification in less than five minutes. Okay, notification of changes uh, related with any business uh, document, any transaction code in less than five minutes. So we will put our timer 605. Okay, let's see whether we can do it. First thing I go to suppose my the requirement is for purchase order. Okay, so I go to ME 23N. Okay and this is my purchase order i want to play with okay and the first thing i'll go here i will go service for object i'll click on this and click on archive workflow okay and here is the business object bus 2012 now i will just go to another transaction oops maximum session well let's make it happen so slash nsw1 you go to bus 2012 and by default most of the business objects will have them will have the event changed okay so it's already there changed okay so i'm good now what i'm going to do i'll build my workflow okay and again you can do it through alerts but i'm just showing the workflow one and i'm going to pftc okay and here i'll just create a new one z st 11 po send I click create I'll say send me email for PO and here I'll just click create quote write in text I'll just give and click here I'll just click container and here I'll just put put PO PO you and we are still less than one minute so i'm doing good okay here we go to bus 2012 we just put business objects okay just follow this and here we click the confirm okay after doing this this has been created now i'm going to go and i'll put a triggering event okay your object type i put bus bus 2012 and i created an event here which is changed okay this is done now i'll just click read this clear i'll press enter now what i'm going to do i'll just do the binding okay so i select this i click on the binding editor and here you can see the workflow initiator okay now what i have to do is i have to save it and I'll just click on local object. Then I click on the binding because now the purchase order. See the purchase order that I created. Sometimes it doesn't get reflect. Okay, I need to put import, import, export. That's the problem. Okay, here I'm less than two minutes gone. Okay, now I'll click on the binding. When I did the binding, here we have the purchase order and here we'll do the event object okay that should be good okay after this i'll click the green arrow now i'll activate the the linkage this is a customizing task and now click on the green arrow and now this is done now i save now i'll go to the builder okay so we have two minutes still i think we can make it fast here so here i'll just go click create okay and here i'll just click create send email okay very easy and now here uh, i'll say suppose i have an email address or something you can you can put a variable here okay by creating a container element but i'll just put a thing i'll say rvp dot car at abc dot com okay and I'll say uh, PO changed and I'll give the PO number. Okay, so I'll just click here and I'll get purchase order. So I'll put PO this and I'll control X and I'll do this. I can send an express that means it will show priority one or something. And now I'll see PO. Now I'll put it here changed. Why I can give the person who changed it 
which will be the workflow initiator okay and i can give other information so suppose i want to give information related with uh, what other information i can give you know the vendor related vendor information so the vendor number i can give the vendor number uh, and other stuff so this is just the information i want and suppose now i click green arrow then send email and send email and i'm still i started at 606 i'm at 610 so now i'll just click on activate okay it's done now is the testing purpose okay now what i'm going to do is i go to slash and me 22 n and i hope it's uh yeah now i will just put uh, car test okay and i click save and i'll say okay we want to save let's see whether any workflow got triggered you see the send email for po change has been triggered and here you can see now we will see what happened really the email got sent here okay the re recipient entry and just to make sure i'm not fooling the system we are going to go in slash n s o s t and here you can see this view got changed and this is the change that we just did so if you see so that's it so that's it uh, this was the notification generated from any change on a PO. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.